This model is sharing what it's like to live with a prosthetic hand. Rebecca Marine is still learning how to use her new right hand. The, the 29-year-old model and inspirational speaker, who was born without a right forearm, was recently fitted for a high-tech prosthetic, after a year-long battle with her health insurance company. Faced with the prospect of paying for the $90,000 limb herself, Rebecca reached out to Touch Bionics, creators of a new prosthetic that would allow her to rotate her thumb, make more precise movements, and control her hand via an app. They helped her appeal the decision, and when her insurance company still refused to pay, donated Rebecca the prosthetic she so desperately wanted. She also became Touch Bionics ambassador in the process. Advertisement Featured Stories where the world's billionaires live. Mansion Global by Dow Jones. Should you really splurge on expensive glasses? Women's health. Eight timeless handbags worth investing in. eBay. I got injectable fillers, and they disfigured my face. Women's health. How he learned nine languages fluently. Babble. You may unsubscribe at any time. Privacy policy, about US. It's difficult, says Rebecca, who lives in New Jersey. I'm relearning everything all over again. I have to use my sense of sight to grab things because I can't feel anything with the hand. But it's getting easier the more I wear it. I'm learning to know how far I have to reach or how hard I have to grip things. Before being fitted for her high-tech hand, Rebecca had been wearing a pretty basic prosthetic since she was 22. Around that time, a friend suggested she try modeling to raise awareness about limb differences. A light bulb went off after that, says Rebecca. So I took some photos with a local photographer, and it kind of blew up from there. Now. After walking the runway of New York Fashion Week for FDL Moda for the past three seasons, Rebecca has close to 14,000 Instagram followers. She hopes to continue to use modeling as a platform to speak to people. She often, for example, visits camps for kids who have limb differences. I hope to keep doing more of that in the future, she says. I want to speak to kids about embracing your body and being confident. That's why she's also working on a self-help book for teens with Nicole Kelly, Miss Iowa 2013, who was also born without a forearm. I want to make the tips in the book as broad as possible, because I know that not everyone was born the same way as I was, says Rebecca who plans on focusing a lot of the content on negative self-talk, or what she calls internal bullying. I want to speak to kids about embracing your body and being confident. When I was in high school, I was never bullied at all, she says. I had a great group of people at school, but I still struggled with my self-confidence, a lot of that had to do with the thoughts in my head. I was wanting and wishing to be normal. Rebecca adds that back then, she didn't believe she could do certain things, like become a doctor, because she was missing her forearm. I know there are people who are doctors and missing limbs, but I wish I knew that growing up, she says.